Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at AMD on the daily, weekly, monthly time frames. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. So let's get right into the daily time frame. And we're right here, guys, right at this low pivot. If this low pivot cracks, we're going here, 1177. Then they're around the $11, 10, eh, 1085 gap window. Ultimately, gap fill around 1036. And then right to this uh, 200 MA at right at round nine, where it might be at 10 bucks or so. I've been telling everybody for months, $10 is going to be the price. Still a 50 50 shot on earnings. I get it. But the reason why I've been saying that, guys, monthly chart. When you get a chart that moves up like this, you got to expect a pullback. If this pulls back to 10, nine bucks, 945, especially in that area, that could be a possible bounce area. If it does not bounce there, then we're definitely going down into the. Uh, Seven seven fifty area, eight dollar area. Again, still premature. Not you know, I can only guess at this point, but the charts are telling me after a move like this, you gotta expect a substantial pullback in this stock. Period. They had earnings right back to double bottom. What can I say, guys? I've been preaching uh ten dollars, nine dollars for a long time. We ended up shorting right here. They all made fun of me when you had the pop right here. Ah, you're getting your butt kicked, stock bookie, and then it pulled back four days. We covered down in here. I think we covered right around the uh, right around the 30, 13, 35 or 13, 25. So went down a little bit lower, but you know what? Nice couple dollar pullback. Get the heck out and thank, thank you very much. So it came up here, trying to get above the trend line. Finally did, never confirmed. Came back down, got above it, confirmed up here, but now we're straight back down there again. This is a buy the dip stock, so. A lot of people could step up tomorrow and push this thing up. Even if they push this thing up, you get a profit on this one, just take it and run. Markets come in, this thing's going to go straight down to 10. So so keep going in the stock. I have no position, so I could care less. But I wish it would have gapped up because I would have been shorting it up there. Instead, gap down. Well, at, the, at least at this point, guys, it's, it's still early in the after hours action. But um, at this point, I still think we're going down here. If we get to the 945, I want to see how it gets there. If it gets there fast and furious, this could be a one-day, two-day bounce play. And then basically get in, get out, let it go down further. And then we'll find areas for this thing to bounce, period. Just like you know, just like going up the short, we found areas. This thing can go down, we'll find areas to go long. I don't care, guys. Bull or bear, don't really care. Just want to be on the right side of the trade. So we're at 12.22 after hours. It's a little tiny bit below this little pivot. My gosh. But you had to gap fill. You have a pivot down here around 12.05 as well. Let's see if we could get down there today and then on the close and we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm sure they'll announce a stock buyback, upgrade, whatever they can to get this thing higher. But again, it's only news. Don't believe it. Just trade the charts and they'll tell you where they're going. Again, I stayed away from this because this really wasn't nothing. It really wasn't a pattern. I mean... You got above the MAs, you came back below, you got above, came back below, just chopping, chopping, chopping. But uh, again, I will be a bull on here one day. Just find, got to find the good support areas. It's going to be a short term, maybe a day or two, maybe a week. Because we come down into here, guys, I think people will step up and you'll get a nice push up. You might end up right back into this area. So if you're long, hold tight too because buy the dip mentality in AMD is pretty strong. But if the markets start to give it up, guys, the Qs and the SPY and the IWM and the DIA, this will be going down easily into here, and I think lower prices to come from there. So we'll have to wait for the setup. Again, no position. I don't really care. I've just uh, been asked by a bunch of people to do a video on this because a lot of people who follow me, guys, do uh, are, are bullish on AMD. And I've been telling them, just watch out, guys. You can always sell here, buy cheaper. If it goes up without you, so what? Eventually, markets will come back. You'll be able to get it at cheaper prices regardless. So, again, bull or bear, don't care. Just want to be on the right side of the trade. Good luck tomorrow at this opening. Watch for the gap fill down here and watch for the gap we're in around 11 bucks. Not that, not that it's going to make it there, but those are some big areas of support as well as the 1177. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot for watching my video. God bless. See you on the charts.